A man named Randy liked to hunt trees. He looked for big trees and old trees. He made maps to show where these trees were. He did not want to cut them down. He wanted people to take care of them. Randy was told of a very tall tree on Vancouver Island. The tree was said to be 314 feet tall. That will make it the tallest tree in Canada. Randy set out to find the tree, but someone else found it first. It was found by a logger. Loggers wanted to cut down Canada's tallest tree and all the trees around it. The tree was so big and beautiful, it would fill them with awe. More and more people wanted to save that forest. Thanks to these people, the forest is now a park. Canada's tallest tree is still there. There may still be a bigger tree out there. Maybe you will find it. But there are only a few old forests live in Canada. Many are still at risk of being cut down. Questions Why did Randy make maps? The maps help the loggers. Randy makes maps to help campers. He makes maps to show where Canada's biggest trees are located. He makes maps because he works for the government. The answer is C. What did the loggers want to do to Canada's tallest tree? They wanted to cut it down. They wanted to save the tree. They wanted to take pictures of the tree. Or they wanted to measure the tree to find out how tall it was. The answer is A. Why did Randy make a path to the tallest tree in Canada? He needed the path to get home. He wanted more people to see it. He made a path so he could visit the tree more easily. He made a path to help the loggers get to the tree. The answer is B. What does it mean to be filled with awe? Does it mean to be not interested? Or does it mean to be curious? Does it mean to be amazed? Or does it mean to want money? The answer is C. What happened to the forest where Randy found Canada's tallest tree? The loggers might cut it down in the future. No one knows. It's a mystery. The loggers cut it down. It became a park. The answer is D.